Welcome shooters, this time we're going to be talking about shotguns, specifically I have here my Mossberg 500. Uh, shotguns are uh, widely used all over the world, uh, pretty much because of their versatility, which they can be used for home defense scenarios, they can be used for target shooting, they can be used for a uh, three-gun type competition, and for pretty much a medium range uh, shooting when using your segments. The shotgun has always been used extensively by all kinds of uh, military and police agencies, also border patrol uh, agents, uh, prisons, extensively used by police depending on the kind of uh, ammunition that they're going to be using. Uh, there is a model of Mossberg 500 corresponding probably to each day of the month. The most, uh, the most available caliber is going to be 12, which is the biggest, 20, which is the one I own, and 410, which is the smallest one that is most of the time always preferred by women or people with the smaller size kind of petite. Uh, some of the Mossberg makes also the semi-automatic uh, shotguns, but I prefer the pump action or stroke, however you want to call them, uh, because they tend to be more reliable and you can even interchange the kind of uh, uh, bullets that you're going to be uh, using. Also, the semi-automatic shotguns, they tend to be a little bit more sensitive when you're going to be switching different brands, different uh, sizes of the cartridges that you're going to be using, and the different kind of ammunition that you're going to be using, so you might tend to have a little bit more jam with a semi-automatic gas operated than with a pump action. There is no way, when you do a full stroke and you do the right maintenance, there is no way you're going to have a jam or misfitting on your uh, pump action uh, shotguns. Uh, shotguns are widely used uh, worldwide, even in those states with more gun restrictions like New York and California, so you don't have to get any concern about buying yours if it's your first time buying a, a, any kind of weapon. Uh, if you are using slugs, you don't have to be concerned about any wind deflection, the wind is kind of barely uh, affected. I really haven't seen any countryman who doesn't like any shotgun, regardless of the brand or the action, because of their versatility. They can be used for a wide variety of a, a game to be hunted, including quail, bear, rabbits, a, getting rid of the snakes in your backyard, slugs, if you're going to be using it against the wild hogs or deer. So it's really, they're really well known for being extremely versatile. And in the majority of the southern states, including Florida, where I'm from, uh, I live that. If, it is exclusively the majority of the area legally only to hunt uh, with shotguns, either slugs or sailors. All right, next part. The Monster 500 shotgun it is extensively preferred by users because of its low cost, easy maintenance, and how easy it is to use. As you guys saw on the previous picture, I have the Deerfield packages with two rifle uh, barrels. Uh, the first one is going to be the smooth one, which is this one, and the second one is going to be the one with the rifling itself. The smooth barrel, it's the one you're going to be able to use with shot shells, which is that when you shoot all those, a bunch of uh, tiny little pellets. Uh, the second one is going to be that the box shots, which is like a bigger pellets. And the third one is going to be the slugs, which is like a big chunky piece of uh, lead that is preferably used for hog hunting, uh, deer hunting, and in some cases, some people use them for a uh, home defense or security purposes. Uh, the second barrel is gonna be the one with the rifling, which is exclusively used mostly for sabot, which is a special kind of logs. You can use the one with the spinning with the rifling for any of the shot shell, but the only thing you're gonna get is you're gonna spray it out. You're gonna, the, uh, shot cells and the pattern is going to be extinct, widely uh, spread and you will be legally a uh, whole accountable for any property damage or if you hurt someone so the one with the barrel exclusively barrel I barely use it personally uh, on the top on the front the smooth barrel uh, they have a uh, three different chokes that is something to do a completely video I believe the non modified or the cylinder one is the one you keep which is the same concentric with the length of the barrel Next, you're going to have the bends, which are like holes that they will help with the recoil. Uh, shotguns, they are known for having more recoil than any other guns. Obviously, I don't have any the real ammunition with me. I wouldn't be worried about blowing my roof or any wall. The damage they can do is extensively. So, I'm only using a snap caps, 
for choke guns. They look like cartridges, but they're just an aluminum uh, imitation. And next, uh, you're gonna have the safety on the top. It is a so-called TAM safety. This is one of the most number one sales point for people who switch or kind of differ between the pump action made by Mossberg or other producer, because regardless that you may, you may be a right-hand shooter or a left-hand shooter, or you just like to switch uh, shoulders when hunting or target shooting, you keep having the safety on the same position instead of having it on the funny position over here around the trigger, which can be kind of confusing uh, for some uh, people. From the factory, it came with so -called, the so-called bead side, which is like a tiny round thing, one on the front, another one around here so you use it as a guideline and just point you do not aim you just point when you're using a shotgun uh, the release cycling mechanism is something that comes up right here behind the trigger if you already pump it then you won't be able to pump the action back again unless you press this if you're going to be switching different uh, cartridges or ammunition or sizes depending on your goal uh, the cheap risers on the back this package, as you saw in my previous picture, I have a different size. I really don't expect anyone to have my same beautiful face, you know? So that it's gonna be custom for the user. I believe they came with three. Uh, on the back, I immediately replaced the butt pad that came from the factory because the original one was extremely hard. It really wasn't helping a lot with the recoil management. The one I bought was the made by Hogue. And it's pretty much like rubber pad or hockey pad. It really helps with the uh, recoil management. The trigger housing is a whole mechanism. Some people opt for the upgraded version which comes uh, with a uh, lighter trigger pull. But I do prefer the heavier trigger pull for shots. Seems to me kind of helps me holding the heavy recoils when you take a shot with it. From the factory, they only come. To, uh, they come with like a a tiny wood piece it's like uh, the so-called i forgot the name of it the so-called plug it has to be removed if you want to be able to uh, load up to five cartridges in the tubular uh, magazine five cartridges it's what you legally you are only legally allowed to hunt in the majority of the states including florida the way you're gonna uh, load it it's gonna be you flip it down and then you start inserting your your cartridges one two three four five and then you and then you have one already on the chamber you take a shot you action that but i'm going to show you a dirty little secret if you're going to load up to six which is illegal for hunting purposes you load the first one move it forward and then you load the five next on the tubular magazine that is illegal for hunting if you do, you're gonna get in big trouble. It's gonna cost you. But you know, for home defense, whatever target practice, you're good to go. Yay, I got two. All right, friend, next part is gonna be considerations. Among the things you're gonna keep in mind and consider every time you buy a Mosper 500 the pump action, uh, you're gonna have to, first of all, you're gonna notice that you're gonna be using more supplies every time you clean it. Not because you don't have to clean it more often than any other of your firearms, but because of the gauge, the size of the ammunition you're gonna be using, you're just gonna be using more powder, it's gonna be using more lead, and it's gonna use more oils and more uh, the dust remover and everything, and all the chemicals, so you're gonna, you notice that you're gonna uh, uh, use more as a general. Another thing that you're gonna be concerned and considering all the time every time you use a shotgun, uh, mostly for home defense, you're gonna have to think about over penetration. Regardless that you're gonna be using even the 410 slugs, always if for some reason you're thinking about buying a 410, which is the smallest available, most common slugs for home defense, keep in mind that it will penetrate and over penetrate a brick and even a block wall so there is no cover behind a wall for someone who was uh, trying to cover break into a house and you shoot the wall through the brick or the block you're gonna get those people just uh, keep in mind it is your responsibility to train your loved ones in your house 
to draw from the floor because there is no cover. That's one of the main reasons the police, they use them when you get into the gang units or border patrol uh, to go through cars, engines and everything because there is no cover when you're using slugs. So it is extremely uh, efficient in over penetrating barrier for people who are trying to go behind cover. It doesn't work like that. You, they're going to get shot regardless. Uh, another point to keep in mind is that something that I see in movies and all kind of videos and everything, people tend to do this sound. It would only give your position in case you're just staying in your home, you're just sleeping in the middle of the night and you have several assailants and one of them might be armed. If you do that, you will just give your position. You might be the one getting shot because you just gave your position. When you have to do it, just stroke it slowly. Don't, don't give your position. You will be the one getting shot. Uh, another thing that I would highly recommend to all of you is to try several ammunition. I'm not, get, I'm not getting paid for any kind of benefits or freebies or something because I'm advertising any ammunition. However, I would highly recommend you to try several of them. They come in different sizes, three inches or two, three quarters of an inches, and they come in all kind of loads and different purpose, their contents. So you will have to try the one that works best for your uh, barrel depending on your barrel life and your use and how you particularly uh, your barrel length and how you particularly uh, shoot uh, yours before you ever think about shortening your barrel because mine is a 26 i'm okay with 26 i use it exclusively for hunting uh, because i uh, it is a chamber in a 20 gauge so because the longer barrel it builds up more gas so it hits almost as hard as a 20 gauge with less recoil than a, a 12 gauge so I would highly recommend you before you shorten it, cutting back to the point, you're going to have to pay uh, the tax stamp if you want to go below 18 inches. Uh, similar as you were paying a suppressor below 18, it's going to be illegal. You're getting in trouble if you're trying to be uh, too creative. Uh, another consideration, uh, the recoil on it is going to be way more than any, most of the, the majority of the firearm. A lot of the time, the 12 gauge recoil is compared to a 50 caliber Barrett. The 20 gauge, it is compared to a 308 rifle, which is well known for use by snipers. And the 14 gauge, which is the smallest one of the most common, is compared to a 243 rifle caliber, which is like a medium recoil, it's more comfortable. However, every time you see someone who's going to be using a shotgun for the first time, please teach them how to square up and use them properly because what you see on the majority of the uh, dumb people or stupid people or just rookie people who has no experience with firearms what they do is something like this and it would cost you one tooth or several teeth not using proper a uh, holding technique the right thing to do is just gonna put it on your uh, pocket shoulder where your shoulder is gonna be joining with your chest or your pectoral and then you press it all the way back properly and you hold it firmly do not do this, do not do this, hold it on your shoulder. If you're going to be using a 12 gauge and you're going to be using extended periods over 50 rounds, I would highly recommend you to shoulder it properly or you're going to end up with uh, bruises uh, on your shoulder. Finally, we're going to be talking about the barrel types, the chokes and the ammunition type. Uh, the barrels. I got the two of them, I got the smooth bore barrel, I'm going to show the picture, it's the one that's completely flat, polished inside, that's the one, be, the one you're going to be switching the chokes, the chokes, they from the factory, for this one they come the cylinder, which is the one that is exactly the same width of the barrel, that's the one you're going to be uh, using with the slugs, with the box shots, uh, and the shot shell, that's the most commonly one used. The next choke is going to be the modified, which is going to be slightly more narrow. That's going to be the one you're going to be using for the shot shells. The many hundreds of uh, tiny pellets, you know, when you're going to be shooting your quail, your skip, anything. That's the one I'll be using. And your uh, full, that's the one that's going to be more concentric. It's going to tighten up the group. That's the one that a lot of people use for turkey. You don't want to eat all those lead in case it go into their necks or their body. So you're going to have the cylinder. Modify and full, which is the more tight in groups. Uh, the smooth bore, as I mentioned before, you will be able to use the, the box shots, which is like bigger pellets. That's the one that people are going to love to use for home defense, which is going to be uh, three to four or even more uh, bigger pellets, bigger size than the tiny one shot shells. 
Uh, those are the ones mostly used for uh, uh, hunting hogs, deer, and hunt defense. The next one is going to be used on the smooth board is going to be the slugs. Those are the ones with the most uh, devastating capabilities. Those are the ones mostly used for military forces and police because of the overpenetration that I mentioned before. Beware of those. So keep an eye for those. Do not use any of the chokes, only the cylinder one, the same size of the barrel. You don't want to make a full on a slug, so you're going to blow probably the tip of your uh, barrel. And finally, when you switch to the rifle barrel, I will upload a picture too. It's going to be the one with the lands and groove, just like a rifle. This is going to be exclusively for the Sabot uh, cartridges, which is a modification of its logs that is going to allow, it's going to mount the Sabot uh, bullet itself, it's going to stabilize, it's going to allow you to take a longer shot up to 150 yards. I don't shoot harder than that with shotguns. Shotguns are not uh, by design, they're not the most accurate firearms. The best I can get with a shotgun at 100 yards, the best I have gotten is five, uh, 4 inches. Once I got 3 inches, and to be honest, I don't even know how I got that. So, because they have a lot of uh, moving parts, they're not, it's not like a bolt action. Once you close it, that's no movement, there is no cycling, there is no nothing. Uh, and because of the smooth bore, it really doesn't stabilize the bullet when it's coming out. The saber does it like a better job, but it's not really uh, the best shot shells. The one with the multiple pellets are the one that I use for all kind of game, depending on the chokes that you're going to be using. People use them for getting rid of the snakes in your backyard when they're taking, uh, killing your uh, cattle or your dogs or your pets. You can get rid of those with the uh, pellet shot shells. Uh, some people they uh, go rabbit hunting, some people do quail hunting, some people do pheasant hunting. Uh, that's the one, the smooth board and the shot shell, that's the one with the for skip shooting as a sport. And um, finally, some, the one that you're going to be using for a uh, turkey, box shots, home defense, and uh, uh, deer in uh, a lot of the, some of the wildlife management areas, and hogs, and slugs, a uh, uh, military, and home defense, but beware of home defense with uh, slugs. And finally, save exclusively, exclusively, like a farther uh, ranges. As I said before, when you talk about shotguns, you all you have to think is about versatility because of all the modification and all the variety uh, uh, combination you can, you can use. As I said before, I'm not trying to advertise one specific brand of uh, ammunition. I would highly recommend you to try several one. And before you try any ammunition, always make sure that it's going to be the right size. It's going to be for my 20 gauge, it's going to be the 3 inches. A cartridges or two three quarter inches if it is a different size you know you so you will have a, a accident firearm accident so this is where you put your face you know where you'll be exposed to uh, all right friends this is all I have to share with you for this time uh, if you have anything to say different than I do please make your comments below if you learn something new or if I say something that was not explained clearly please make your question below so I'll be glad to help you don't forget to do the three magic things that help my channel grow and it won't cost you anything. Like, subscribe and share among your friends. As always, thank you so much for your time. Have fun at the range and stay safe.